still eating your bloody cereal. Get over yourself. Come and help me. Aye. All right. What are we getting up to? I've started fracking. Out the back. Fracking? I got a licence off my pal down the club. It was dirt cheap. I set up a wee company and that business is now the sole benefactor of all this natural resource that's been under our houses all along. That sounds a wee bit immoral. Not at all. George Osborne said he'd created the most generous shale gas tax regime in the world. Aye, Paula. Generous to the people that are drilling the oil out the ground. Yeah, well, I'm one of the two licence holders that are pumping that stuff out the central belt, so it's win-win. I have no obligation, but I'll probably give something back to the community, I promise. I built that leisure centre in Grangemouth, mind. Is it not terribly detrimental to people's health, Paula? I mean, they serve pie and chips in the cafe, but, you know, I mean, if you exercise, then you deserve I'm talking it. about fracking. Ugh, oh, maybe's I, maybe's no. It's just not enough hours in the day to do proper studies. And I mean, if people start to develop, oh, I don't know, let's say, open sores that don't heal, or, you know, waking in the night with nosebleeds, like they did in America, then we just pay them off, like they did in America. It'll be a fraction of our profits. And the billions of gallons of toxic waste. We can somehow deal with that and earthquakes. They can't trace back to us, so overall, there's good money to be made. And remember, it's the most generous shale gas tax regime in the world. Paula, I'm needing a lift into the church tonight. I'm uh, volunteering at the food bank. I don't have time for that. You've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to go and drop bombs over Iraq. Is that, is that some kind of euphemism? Iraq. Well, it's part of the efficiency drive at the council. I'm job sharing with a tornado pilot. I've got my first aid licence, so... Yeah. Paula, over half a million people have died since the last time we went into Iraq. Well, exactly. It's a humanitarian crisis, that's what it is. It was, it was bombs that killed them? A humanitarian crisis? We... So, if we're so interested in human rights, why are we busy repealing the Human Rights Act? It's costing too much money to give everyone their basic human rights, so we'll, we'll just rewrite it and give most people their human rights. So let me get this straight. We are scrapping the Human Rights Act at home to save money, but we're going to spend £3 billion exporting human rights to Iraq. That's what we're expected to believe. That's the, that's the party line, is it? ISIL are planning to attack us. We have to eliminate them. And who are ISIL? They're terrorists, Paul. Don't you read the papers? I thought it was ISIS. They had to change the name because of the dog. The dog? Downton Abbey, you pleb. Keep up. They're planning on attacking us, Paul. Here, at home. We have to stop them. And the way to stop them? That's to go out there and kill them, is it? To kill every last one of them. And then hope, eh, pray that their, their sons, their daughters, their mothers, their fathers, their, their old school teachers, their friends, their neighbours, that they'll just somehow suddenly forget we killed them and just toe the line. It's time for your medicine. The reason they even exist is because we have spent eight out of the past 11 years dropping bombs in their head. Half a million people are dead, Paula. David Cameron's the third successive British Prime Minister to send British troops in to kill not just one or two dozen people, but hundreds of thousands of people. Kill, kill, kill anyone who stands between the UK, the financial markets and the cheap, cheap oil. But nobody discusses oil. We're not allowed to face up to the terror that's wrought in our name, the harsh reality that that's the price of economic progress, of development. Well, I have had enough of it. Enough of it, Paula. There's Sit down, shut up, and take your fucking cow, Paul. I'll be at the back. Fracking.
They all registered to vote for the referendum and now we're after them for the poll tax. Can you believe it? Oh, and did I tell you? Labour have said they're going to be tougher than the Tories when cutting the welfare bill. So you can rest in peace. <laughs>